Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I wanted to share some current favorites with you guys. Now I have my ride or dies or my holy grails, if you will, that I use day to day or um, weekend to weekend, dressy to dressy occasions. So those are like products that I love all the time and these are the ones that I kind of cycle through and find myself really enjoying for the season or for the month or even the week sometimes, it just depends. Um, but you'll see some oldies in here as well. So let me go ahead and get started. The first two things I have to tell you, I have not used these since high school, literally, well, maybe college too, literally since I left my dad's house uh, when I got married. So it was definitely like early 2000s. But um, I used to wash my hair with these all the time. The rose, what is it, infused, Herbal Essence by Clairol. Um, these were like, I don't know, a 90s girl favorites. They were just, do you remember Herbal Essences in the 90s? They were like the bomb. Um, and I have not used them since then. And I am not like, I'm not a snob when it comes to shampoo or conditioners. I kind of cycle through different things and every time I go I pick something else up. And I just have not used this since then. Um, I know for a fact I haven't bought these when I've been, while I've been married to my husband. Um, so yeah, picked them up because, well, I just, I love the way that they smelled back then and I absolutely love them now. I love how they make my hair smell, my daughter's using these, and I love when I hug her that this is what her head smells like. Um, so yeah, I just think it's a great shampoo and conditioner. It gets the job done. Um, so this is the Smooth Collection. It's supposed to like help your hair smooth down. I don't know what it does. I don't know that it does that. I just know that I love the scent and I was nostalgic for the 90s. And this reminds me of a time when I was not married and I did not have kids. Not that I would trade it, but it was just carefree. And now that I smell it in my daughter's head, I am absolutely loving it. So using these, these are in my shower. My daughter takes a shower in my shower, so she uses them too. My son has actually started using it as well. Um, so loving those. And then the next two items, you guys know I'm very low maintenance when it comes to skin and hair care. I have a high kind of high maintenance cut, um, but I really am all about the low maintenance to keep it nice. Um, so for these two things, my hairstylist actually uses this every time I go and I fell in love with it and I've been searching for it and you can only find it online sometimes. And I finally found it inside of a Ulta. It did not have the top, however, which I was like, really, you don't have a top? okay um but yeah so i would have enjoyed having a top to put on it but i don't this is the kimra platinum silkening gloss brilliant shine polish and she puts this in my hair when it's damp before she cuts it and then she cuts it and blow dries it and uh, flat irons it and i just love the way that it makes my hair feel it's really silky it smells really really good i don't know what it smells like i couldn't even begin to tell you it's like almond or something um, but I love it and it just leaves your hair really really smooth and I guess it does add some shine I've noticed it shines a lot more um, When I use it and then my daughter also started using it as well and really liking it So we like it just to kind of tame to tame the flyaways and stuff So loving that the next thing is this it 12 in 1 amazing leave-in hair treatment It repairs protects and strengthens this I got in an ipsy bag about a month ago and it's been sitting there and I've just made a conscious effort to try and use it. Um, but I have noticed that it leaves my hair a little bit more conditioned, if you will. So definitely a little bit softer. Um, and my daughter uses it as well. And I've noticed that her hair is a little bit more manageable. So I know there is some truth to using products. The more products you use, the little, you know, your hair gets a little better because it does start to take on some of the attributes of the products you use. However, I'm not big on piling products into my hair. So these, this is just something that I've been consciously trying to use up and it's become a kind of a current favorite. I like the way it smells. I like the way it makes my hair like flyaways. I always have flyaways right in here that just stick up, they're little baby hairs. Um, so this just helps kind of smooth them down and then this just helps it make be a little bit more manageable, if you will. Um, and the shine, the shine I'm liking. And I did touch up my hair, I dyed it, I went a little darker, so I'm using a L'Oreal um, shade 40, the Espresso Inferia. So yeah, I went a little deeper for fall and this is not as dark as it will be, it will be one shade darker, but for now, this just brings it back into the brown, not so much that tortoise kind of shade that I like for the summer. So that's part of the shine too, is the darker hair. Okay, next up, these two things. Um, once again, I'm not a stickler for skincare, but I have used it up because I have really been enjoying the way it makes my skin feel. Um, the Anti-Aging Cream by Soap and Glory. So it comes in this little 
silver ball, which is so cute, although I have a hard time screwing the top down. So while it is a precious little ball that sits on your counter just like that, um, the top became just, yeah, not useful at all. It does not even close. It just, yeah, stays like that. So um, really great product though. It's very moisturizing. It's very thick and I have really enjoyed it for the beginning of fall when my skin kind of goes through this dry phase where it's coming off of the summer, going into fall. It's kind of like it knows it. Um, it's not cold yet, so I'm not sure why the moisture is just being sucked out of my skin. Um, but the humidity level in Houston is dropping a little bit, and I think that has somewhat to do with it. Because when it's really, really humid, my skin is great. It's like moisturized. It's very oily, but it's very moisturized. Um, but as soon as the humidity starts to just kind of pull out of Houston, it gets a little dry. And I'm noticing, you know, just dryness and cracking, and like my hands get dry, my legs, my feet, my elbows. Everything just gets a little bit scaly, a little bit... Um, yeah, in need of moisturization. So the same thing happens to my face in kind of this area. It gets really tight um, as well as right here and I get a little bit of dry patches. I'm always oily in here but very dry in here. So I slather this on at night before I go to bed and you can see I don't have that much left. And it smells like a typical Soap and Glory product. Just really, really great. It smells like one of those body sprays that I have. Um, so loving that. And I just love the display, the way that it looks. But definitely have used that up because it's just great. And then I always take everything and rub on my hands um, because that's just, yeah, since I'm moisturizing my face, I moisturize my hands as well. Okay, the next three things are makeup products. Um, this Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. I have to tell you, I was not a fan of this when I purchased it. I purchased it on, you know, YouTube hype and everybody loved it. And I thought, well, you know what? They're neutrals. I can always use more neutrals because I can always use these shades to contour different areas of my eyes. And so I got it um, with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. And I just took such a liking to that palette that I tried this like a day or two, did not really care for it, put it down and was like, whatever, I'll forget about you. Um, I put it in that drawer where you put your cosmetics that you like don't care for, that you don't like. They just kind of go in the drawer because you're just like eh, on the fence about it. Um, so yeah, I put it in there and just left it alone, forgot about it, used the crap out of that Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Like today, I have it on, even though I'm talking about this. Um, but I went back to it eventually and just started playing with it. Really did not like it at first. I felt like the colors were not blendable. Like they were not, um, they're not chalky by any means and they're very pigmented, but I just felt like they were not blending the way that like the soft shadows of the um, Modern Renaissance palette are or like my MAC ones or anything like that. So just kind of put it away again and then went back to it. And now I'm actually really, really liking it. And it's funny to say it because I just did not give it a fair chance at the beginning. And now that I've had it and used it a couple of times, gotten used to the shadows because you do have to kind of get used to them. They're very much like contour colors, if you will. So what you would use to contour your cheeks and stuff like that, they don't blend out precisely. Like they're, they're not gonna blend out into like a fluff of color because they're so pigmented. So you definitely have to use them as they were intended for, which is to contour your eye. And once you like start using it that way, once I started using it that way to contour my eye, not necessarily color and fill my eye in like modern Renaissance. Once I started using these colors that way, I actually really liked it. And this has kind of replaced my Urban Decay Naked Basics, which I absolutely love, um, but is very cool toned. And this has all these warm, and cool but more warm tones in it so loving that had to give it a chance and once i did i loved it the makeup forever hd ultra hd foundation which i absolutely love i have on today my only problem with this foundation is the number system is always marked on the bottom of uh, makeup forever products it wears off so i have absolutely no earthly idea what shade i am in this i know this one matches me perfectly but i don't know what shade it is um, these were sent to me. I had received three of them from Makeup Forever, kind of early, like beginning of the year, and I absolutely love them. Um, but I cycled through the three shades, and this is the one that I am. The other two shades have worn off as well, so I really, you know, I don't know. Like, if it's on your counter and it gets wet or oil gets on it, like from, you know, your fingers or makeup or anything, it just rubs it off. So I don't know. But this is my shade. It's perfect. So I'm going to have to take this to Sephora and match it hopefully, and find the shade I am. But that is a really good um, alternative to the MAC makeup that I love, the Studio Fix Fluid, because it just matches, the color matches perfect. In MAC, I feel like I'm in between two shades. One's way too light, one's way too yellow, and this one is just perfect. So 
there's that. Next up is the blush that I'm wearing. And it is a matte color. It is this one right here. I'm loving it for these kind of deeper fall looks with a berry or um, very like dark wine colored lip. It is the shade Stubborn and you can see how beautiful it looks. And if you know me, you know how I match my blush to my lip color. I go with the tones and to me that just is a good match. And it's good for all different colors of lipstick. So here is another one that I will show you later. Um, a lip pencil. So, you know, it's just good for all those wintry kind of lipsticks that you like. This is the one I have on right now. So, loving that. That's called Stubborn. And then the other one that I've really been liking is this one. And this is Sketch, this dark, deep, beautiful color, which would work equally as well. I just didn't want to have to work with it. You have to use a lighter brush with a darker color, and I didn't want to have to play that much. Um, so, I went with Stubborn. But that's also a great fall alternative. Okay, and then lastly, four blushes, even though I just showed you that one. I pulled this sucker out because I did not use it all when I originally bought it. And I still have the highlight, which I don't care for. This what's up? I don't like cream highlights. I prefer powder. Cream just makes my makeup melt off. Um, but I've been using Hoola to contour, which I think is really, really pretty. It's not as harsh as some of the other contour colors that I choose to use. It is a very natural kind of... Um, bronzed contour, if that makes any sense, but it doesn't have sparkle in it. So it's just a very pretty bronze color um, without the shimmers. And then of course, Rockstar, which is a kind of everyday blush and Dandelion, which is good for the pop of pink on your cheeks. Um, and then these two, I've just been trying to use them um, because like I said, I bought it, put it, you know, used it for probably three or four months and then put it away. So that kind of has been the item I've been going back to. And I like seeing this on my uh, makeup counter. I think it's really pretty festive. So there's those two things on my lips. This color, which I love, is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Aria, 04 Aria, which is a dark wine shade. It's really pretty. It's very, very pretty for fall. I love it, um, especially with pale skin and the dark hair thing. I just like, I like that contrast kind of playing off of everything. Um, I really wish I had done some false eyelashes because I feel like it opens my face up a lot um so yeah the other thing is this nyx lip liner pencil in the shade prune which is a good kind of color to go with your deep lipsticks it's perfect for so many different shades there it is there this is uh, nyx butter gloss in black cherry which is really really pretty if you like a glossy lip it's deep kind of dark purple very moody very pretty and then this is the stila swatch right there next to the lip color you see that really pretty colors um, and then the lipstick that i was wearing in one of my other videos that you guys loved is the nyx lip shade in the color Ar um, aria really they're called they're both called aria <laughs> my um liquid lipstick and this one is they're both called aria which are really pretty just reminds me of pretty little liars Okay, there that is right there. It is a little bit of a different shade from that. It's a little lighter, but very pretty nonetheless. That kind of fuchsia color. And then my absolutely favorite MAC lipstick for the fall, which is MAC Rebel, which I think is really, really pretty. It's a deep kind of fuchsia shade right there. Really pretty. And that is one of my favorites for right now. I know, you know, a lot of darks for fall, a lot of um, deeper tones and blush and just kind of a more of a poppy I um, contoured, but definitely some color. I know I used red, um, what is it, red ochre on, and real bar on the outer corners of my eyelids from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So thank you so much for watching. This has kind of gone on a little too long, so I'm going to cut it off. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.